Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video I got some news for you and the first news is not really good news. It seems like Arnold Classic lineup is getting smaller and weaker. First, disappointing news was about Andrew Jack, who pulled out of both Arnold Classic Ohio and UK and that guy was supposed to be top 3 probably and now our most likely top 4 competitor Rubiel Mosquera, aka Nexilla, seems to be pulling out of Arnold Classic Ohio as well. So we got multiple sources talking about this and basically Nexilla is having troubles getting the US visa. Again, the issue with the visa, ah, how many great bodybuilders are not going to be able to compete at the very best shows in the world because they can't get the US visa, it's, it's really sad. It's, it's really frustrating and you guys know that Nexilla is being mentored by Chris Cormier and he was basically the first to say that Nexilla is most likely not gonna make it. Let me play it for you. What's the status, what's the status on Rubiel? Uh, I mean, like I know he spent a lot of time with his family. You haven't seen his family in, in a long time. So he, he's just starting to gear up you know, hard now, but he wasn't fat when he started, so that was a good thing. Uh, what about visa? Visa is that is that all taken care yeah, of? Yeah, it's, no, it's still still in the works. Still ongoing, so he doesn't even know if he gets it. Right. Okay. So he's so, not. So he's not a hundred percent. All in all. So what Chris is basically saying is that there is an issue with the visa, but it's not certain that he won't get it. It's not for sure. However, you can also notice that Chris is not very comfortable talking about this and it's probably because he doesn't want to announce that uh, Nexilla is not, officially not, doing the Arnold Classic Ohio because he didn't announce it himself. But, you know, you can hear it kind of in Chris's voice that he doesn't want to say it, but he probably knows that it's probably not happening. Also, he says that Rubiel was with his family for a while because he hasn't been with them for a long time and that he recently, only recently started prepping. And here is a most recent physique update that he posted, and he says that he is at 30% right now, and there is 70% left to go, to get in shape for, for the competition. So he is prepping, he did not pull out. As far as his conditioning right now, I don't really see fat here. I mean, he was shredded at Prague Pro, so he couldn't have gained that much fat in the meantime. What I'm seeing in this photo is, you know, just some water, not much. He has enough time to get shredded, no doubt about that. So he can definitely make it, and it does seem that he is prepping, but what is he prepping for? Well, let me play that for you. But, but he's gonna do it. But he's gonna do one of them. He's gonna do it at least, at least that on um, the one in the UK. He oh. has a has a, a clear shot at doing so he has no problems making it to europe no all right so we got some pretty good news he's gonna do at least the arnold classic uk which is gonna be very similar almost the same as the arnold classic ohio because all the top guys are doing both of those shows unless some of them pull out but I don't see that happening. If Samson wins the Arnold Classic, he's gonna do the Arnold Classic UK because that's what Samson is like. He's gonna do all the shows he plans to do. He's not afraid of losing or risking his stock or whatever. If Hardy loses the Ohio, I think he's gonna do the UK to try to redeem himself. But if he wins it, he's gonna be more confident that he can win another 150k, so I think he's gonna do both shows as well. The Brazilians, Rafael Brandao and Horse MD, are not in for the Arnold Classic UK, which is a shame not to see those two guys against Nexilla. And James Hollis here is gonna do the Arnold Classic UK because he's from the UK. Uh, so, yeah, the other guys also are gonna be interesting to see against Nexilla. So, Arnold Classic UK, it's not like Ohio, but it's good. At least we're gonna see him over there. At this point, some of you are probably thinking, well, maybe he's gonna make it, maybe he's gonna get the visa in time, but to make things more certain for you guys, I'm gonna play you another video. Check this out. This is the lineup. We're gonna exclude... So we're gonna exclude Rubiel, and we'll exclude... Um... Has there been an official post on Rubiel? No, but I, I heard it's it's getting tougher and tougher to get him in. Okay, so it's a visa it's an issue. 
So you heard it on Fuad Abiyad's podcast, basically Fuad says that he heard from somebody that it's gonna be really difficult to get him in. First, they said, let's wait for him to announce that he's not doing, because you know they probably know he's not doing officially. And then later they decided not to use his name. So yeah, I think at this point it's like 99% certain that Nexila very, very unfortunately is not doing the Arnold Classic Ohio. I mean, I was really looking forward to seeing this because this guy really blew my mind when I saw him. He's like currently probably the freakiest bodybuilder today alongside with Nick Walker. I mean, I like the aesthetic physiques, but, you know, I'm impressed with the freakiness. And I want to see freakiness on that stage. And unfortunately, we are probably not going to see, let's say, the biggest freakiness in the world at the second world's biggest bodybuilding stage, Arnold Classic Ohio. So... It is what it is. You guys tell me in the comment section down below. What do you think about this? And what do you think about his conditioning at six weeks, actually seven or eight weeks out of Iron Classic UK? I think he can make it and be shredded if he wants to. But yeah, as far as Iron Classic UK, you know, he can make it for that as well, I think. But it seems like he's not doing it. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. All right, next up, we got a physique update off season. Physique update of our current 212 Mr. Olympia champion. Keon Pearson, who looks pretty freaking huge right now. I mean, he's looking truly freaking massive. And the thing is, he had more room in the 212 division. So he has another couple of pounds before he reaches the 212 weight cap. And if you guys are wondering, is he prepping for the Open? He doesn't necessarily need to be. Maybe he's actually prepping for the Open, but not this year. Maybe in a couple of years. I can see that. I mean, Derek Lansford won the 212 Olympia, and then the next year he plays second, and then the year after he won the Mr. Olympia in the Open. So if he could do it, then Keon can do it as well. He needs more progress, sure. He needs to get a little bit bigger. Not that much. With his structure, he doesn't need to get, like, I don't know, 250. Nothing like that. At 225, for example, he would be a force to be reckoned with. And... I'm not saying he can win the Mr. Olympia, but I'm not saying he can't. I'm saying he can do well in the Open. And I don't think there's anybody who can dispute that. Here in the comments, somebody says, Open in six weeks? <laughs> and he says, maybe six years, who knows? I mean, the way he's looking, he could be competing in six weeks at the Arnold Classic Ohio. He could get shredded, I believe so. But that's not the plan. The plan is to win another Mr. Olympia title to defend his title against Sean Clarida, who seems to be coming strong as well. Uh, is that going to happen? I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. I think uh, Keon is just too pretty for Sean. And you know, at this point, he's even bigger. And I think he's going to improve and get even more shredded. So I think he's going to stay at the top in 212 for a while. So I don't think he needs to move to the Open. Maybe at some point when the weight becomes the issue. So far, he has been having an easy time making the weight for 212. But maybe at some point, he's going to have troubles like Derek Lansford. And then it would be the right time to move to the Open. There was some talk about this. I heard people saying that he's considering it. That he wants to move to the Open eventually. When is that going to happen? I think not in another three years. I don't see it happening sooner than that. He can dominate the 212 for a while and then eventually move to the open once he does again i think he's gonna be able to do some serious damage but right now in his off season i mean his off season started recently relatively recently and he has been progressing very nicely as you can see he's staying pretty conditioned very hard but he is getting bigger and fuller and rounder and i have no idea how patrick tour is doing this all of his clients are basically looking something like this. This is Stanim, like, I don't know, six months after his last show. And he's doing the off-season with Patrick too right now. Check out his conditioning in the freaking off-season. What the hell are these guys doing? I mean, look at the striation on his lower lats. Look at the Christmas tree. The hamstring detail. The, the glute striation. I don't think he has been any leaner on stage. I mean, seriously, like, he's one peak week away from a show, from a show condition. 
I don't get this. And basically all Patrick Tour's clients are doing similar approach and they're actually making a ton of progress. I'm not worried about Stanimal not making progress because he's staying shredded, super shredded, sliced and diced and dry the entire offseason because all of his guys, all Patrick's guys make a lot of progress and they're staying... I mean, not in good shape, but peeled, peeled, this is dry, this is stage conditioning, I have no idea how is he accomplishing this, if I stayed this shredded whole year, I would make zero progress, I would probably regress, I mean, I don't know what is he doing, is he just, you know, using all of the pre-contest gear the entire year and like fat burners and everything, but still eating a lot of food and training hard and I, mean, I have no idea, I, I'm really, it's really mind-boggling, but yeah, that's how these guys are doing it and uh, as you can see, Keon is not exactly this shredded the entire off-season, after the Mr. Olympia, I think he took some time to relax, to recover, and then he started his off-season a little bit, you know, softer, and actually, since then, he has gotten bigger, fuller, rounder, and more shredded. And I'm guessing in the next couple of weeks or months, he's gonna be getting bigger and leaner at the same time. So, this is really confusing, but whatever Patrick Tour is doing, it's obviously working, it's obviously working really well for Keon. Look at him right now. I mean, definitely not as shredded as Stanimal, but I'm telling you, he's gonna get leaner and bigger at the same time in the next weeks and months. And at the end of the Mr. Olympia, he's gonna be a much better, much improved, much bigger version of himself. So whatever these guys are doing, it's obviously working. Whatever you guys think about that, tell me down below. All right, next we got a physique update of Ramon Dino at six weeks out of Arnold Classic, Ohio. And this is what he's looking right now, and I think he has actually gotten bigger. He actually looks really, like, really full and round. I mean, look at those freaking arms and the shoulders and just the overall thickness and width of his physique. I mean, the legs as well. I mean, it's not exactly, you know, the best quality photo, actually, the video, but you can see the thickness. You can see how big he is. Meanwhile, Chris Bumstead is taking it easy in the offseason because he doesn't need to grow. But Ramon is definitely not slowing down. He's doing the Arnold Classic Ohio and he looks big right now. In six weeks, he's gonna be shredded and then he's gonna have a really nice rebound after the Arnold Classic. So next year, I mean, he's gonna win the Arnold Classic. That's gonna be probably easy. I don't see worse beating him. If he hasn't beaten him in the last two years he, or more, he's not gonna do it at the Arnold Classic. No way. So at the Mr. Olympia, later this year, I think it's gonna be much, much closer between him and Chris Bumstead. And that's only if Chris Bumstead actually competes. Yeah, I know he said he's gonna be competing until he's 30, but he might pull out. We'll see. I mean, he has so many injuries. Maybe he injures something again. Maybe he doesn't have it in him anymore because it kind of seems like that. Maybe when the baby is born, he's gonna decide to focus on that instead of prepping for a show for Mr. Olympia. So we don't even know if Chris is doing it, but if he does it, Maybe he's gonna show up and not be at his 100% and Ramon is gonna be much improved and at his 100% and then maybe he even beats Chris Bumstead. It's not impossible at this point. After seeing these photos and after considering everything, actually, I believe this year Ramon has an actual chance against Chris. I know Chris has this perfect structure for classic physique, but if you look at his physique at 2022 compared to 2023, he actually regressed. He came in worse which might happen this year again, and I'm pretty sure Ramon is gonna make more improvements, just like he did these past couple of years, so it really seems like Ramon is breathing on Chris's neck, and yeah, yeah, this year, I think there is somebody who can actually dethrone Chris Bumstead, if you guys disagree or you agree, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, guys, and for more videos like this, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, guys, and bye-bye.